Hello everybody, this is 618 Delta, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Skyward Sword, and my nunchuck was being weird. I have a weird little glitch going on with my nunchuck sometimes, where I'll plug it in, and then my character starts running into a wall. So I have to unplug it and put it back in. It happens, it happens. Maybe I'm just plugging it in, plugging it in wrong. So we are now going to go to the sealed grounds and talk to the old woman about what the heck just happened. On another subject you just saw, I made my LP intro better. I changed the music a little bit, uh, and I've minimized the black bars. Still trying to figure out how to completely get rid of them. Still experimenting and procrastinating. procrastinating. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. And again, that woman we met was Impa. No, I mean the the one who was protecting Zelda. That's Impa. She is, of course, a member of the Sheikah tribe, and she's charged with protecting Zelda. Hmm. What the? <laughs> Scene is still awesome. <laughs> That's a pretty funny cutscene. And see, I was quiet for the most part. <laughs> it has a name, it's called the Sealed Grounds. I don't like it. Wow, that guy is such a bleep. See, got myself, got myself. He's an arrogant little jerk. Face. Ooh, bug. 
Some bugs you can, like, do a barrel roll into the wall and you can knock them down and get them without even using a bug net. I think there's only two we can really do that with, or three. Oh, yes, Gorko. Why did I talk to him? I'm sorry, folks. Hmm. And I just got a heart. How convenient. He's basically telling us that if we play the harp, where groups of butterflies are flocking to, you can find something, these certain walls, which I'll get into next time, and and these stones, similar to the Sheikah stones. Are there any bugs over here? There are not. Alright, let's head inside the temple and talk to the old woman. Because, yeah, Grus is, she's totally going to tell Grus everything. Let him go and do it. Wow, rude. You're here because you fell here, you nitwit. Aw, someone's jelly. You jelly? You jelly? You displeased? Troll la la la. Headphones. On off. the harp. This is the one game mechanic I feel like they kind of botched. Because it's just too simple and dumb. You just press that, bring it out with A, and just use your Wemo, and you, you rarely ever use it outside of certain areas. It's... you'll see why I don't like it. I'm really just trying to time it right. It doesn't even matter which direction you play it, so long as you play it with the proper timing. Again, this circle of light, this is it's dumb, it's not doesn't work very well. I think the only really good thing about the harp is that it's got great music, which I'll show you by shutting up. No, I didn't! I just played... It's not very good. Too bad I couldn't really hear that song because I have my audio off right now, so you don't hear it echoed in the background. 
Whoa. Far out, man. Sorry for any background noise. I'm trying to get this mic properly adjusted. I have a big I have a big head. Earthquake! Crap. Ah, oh, crap. That thing's breaking free? Dang it! That's not good. Alright, let's run outside quickly. If I can't even... You know, I'm not gonna say anything yet. Jeez. Alright, that monster's breaking free. Let's head down there. Screw the path. I'm just jumping. Whee! It's just a thing with a set of toes. What the heck? All right, here's what we gotta do. We gotta t cut those toes down. He's got three toes on his front, and then he's got one on his back. On the back. He hurt the toes. Now he's gonna start doing launching shock waves. Easily done. Uh-oh. Okay. You can block them, but it's tricky. Look that sucker. And if you break all of his to toes on one foot, he starts limping. And as you can see, you knock down all the toes, he falls over, and now we've got to do an upward strike. Up, just a plain old upward strike on his little spike. Like this. Three in a row. Now he's going to start worming his way up there for a few seconds. And I honestly failed this first, failed the first time around I did this. It's not, I was doing everything right, I just didn't realize I was doing everything right. I didn't realize I was, he was supposed to be doing that. I thought I'm doing this wrong, I'm doing this wrong, and I kind of panicked. And I messed up completely. But yeah, so he's supposed to do that. Just keep getting, hitting his toes like this. Try a Skyward Strike. Bang! He's down again. This fight is pretty easy. Alright, he's gonna do that one more time. And he goes far this time around. 
you just want to head up here and just wait and hope he and be careful. If he hits you while he's doing that, you're gonna take some damage, and it hurts a lot. All right, go. All right, now he'll be doing more shock shockwaves with every step, but it's still not too hard. He's pretty slow still. Yeah, I'm it. I'm gonna take out both his back does first. Alright, here we go. Yeah, watch your step. Alright, see, he's limping. Whoa! Don't be dumb on his foot. Oh, there we go. Alright, that's this is the last time we have to hit him, and then something very cool happens. It's remarkable when you see how close he got to almost to reaching the temple. Again, sorry if I'm any noise I'm trying to make my mic doesn't quite fit. That would have been really intense in 3D. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. We. Alright, here we go. Slide us in those directions. Like a boss. We are boss. Well, I am boss. I don't know about you fans. You're probably all boss. <laughs> you really have that low standards of me. Come on. Oh, come on. Alright, alright. So, yeah. We only bought ourselves some time. But he's not gonna break free for a while, though. This isn't like Majora's Mask, where you've got a time limit. <laughs> Bruce is so sad. Then why we awake? Then why we bring the gate out and let big so big and let big ugly break free? If I couldn't even do that yet, that's dumb.
I wonder who has that knowledge. Well, we can't ask Zelda. She's kind of in a different time. Maybe we can ask her dad. So we got to head back to Skyloft. Actually, I actually want to see what happens if I hit this with a Skyward Strike. Nothing. If I already know this, come on. Again, she needs an off button. All right, so we're gonna go and talk. We're gonna head back to Skyloft and talk to Master Headmaster Gapora about this. He's got some info. He's got some good, juicy information. Tender, juicy information. I'm sorry, I'm hungry. Again, any background noise is me trying to fix this damn mic. I'm a big person. This is a small headset. All right, let's play us. Let's play the song for him. You don't actually have to play an actual song. You can just play the harp. Come here, stupid bugs. Yeah. When all else fails, run around looking like an idiot. <laughs> Ta-da! Boing boing. Alright, so yeah, the Gossip Stones can tell you useful information. Well, they're nice little tidbits, and they can also they pop out, drop out an item when you summon them. I like that one just dropped an ornamental skull. I'm gonna like, get the snake up on the bird. Check. Got it. <laughs> bird feather, yay. I'm gonna stick around here real fast because I wanna get another one for later usage. Bugs. I'm a bug collector. Aha. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting birds. Be very, very quiet. Aya. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> so yeah, my intro is updated. It's another, again, minimized black bars. It looks cooler. Got the nice music. I tweaked it a little bit. And again, what else? I was talking about how I don't like the heart. It's the mechanics are dumb, you rarely ever use it outside of the game outside of things I can't say yet because I don't want to spoil this. And you don't even really learn the songs. You're just kinda playing it in time with the uh, pulsing circles of light. So you end up like you learn the ballad of the goddess. What no I didn't and even when you go to your gear menu and like you can look at your harp songs, it's like you just click on Ballad of the Ballad of the Goddess and you won't see like anything. And you can't play them. Oh yes. What the heck? Uh I don't know what it looks like on your screen, but currently my screen's frozen. 
Well, anyway, after I fin- Let's just say I went into the bazaar, I wasted some time, and I didn't get anything out of it. I found my stuff frozen. Uh-oh. I'm gonna pause my recording. And we're back! Okay, sorry about that, folks. My Windows Movie Maker was being weird. Really, really weird. Anyway, we are now in the Night Academy, and I'm going to talk to... Who is it? Headmaster Gapora. About stuff. He should know something about the Ballad of the Goddess. Oh. Oops. Headphones up there. This headset is small. I need a bigger one. Oh god, please don't. Can you speak any slower? Alright, so what he's talking about are windmills. There's a couple of these windmills in Skyloft, and if we if we use our gust bellows to point them towards the light tower, we can... something will happen that we can do. Alright, so I know where these two little windmills are in Skyloft, so I'm gonna go find... I'm gonna go use them. There's one right by the bazaar... close by the bazaar and the plaza. And there's one by the graveyard. I'm gonna go to the one by the plaza first, since it's pretty close. See? There it is. Right, here we go. I got that pu this puzzle pretty easily. And just... There we go. See? And now we're gonna go get the other one. I'm gonna save real fast. If there's any any delay in my audio, it's either me just sucking or it's me delaying syncing up the audio for the voiceovers. Because I can't click on record and play the, play the footage at the same time. Yeah, hair in my mouth. Alright, here's another one, but... Ah, oh, dang it. Dang it, that was that little old propeller fell down. No Daffy.
All right, so we're gonna go talk to Gondo at the bazaar, and he can help us out. And what else can I tell you, people? Hmm. Not much has been going on in my life recently. My mother and sister went to Atlanta for a cheer competition. So it's just been me and my stepdad just, you know, chilling out. I actually got to do a, got a ton of recording done this weekend. I've already cleared the next chapter in this game. Yeah. You got a robot I can use? Whoa, that looks like one of the robots in the Lanayru Lene Desert. That's why we need to collect ancient flowers in the Lanayru Desert, so we could use them on this guy. Bam! Now oh, he's got a little propeller. No, it was the Lord. Ow. Wow, you're a jerk. Meanie. Yeah, well, what about children with swords, punk? Alright, we can douse for it. Hooray. I already know where it is, but... You'll see in a second. Oh ho ho! Robot, cr robot love. Lol. All right. So, Mr. Robot here, Scrapper can well now pick up stuff for us. See, Fi is useful. All right, so it's this thingy. I can also ask the internet and my memory, my memory, my past experiences in this game. All right, it's actually in the Elden Volcano er general area. That's where we're gonna. So that's where we're going ahead. Yeah. It's by that. It's by the. T it's near that. T where the entrance to the Earth Temple is. So that's where we're gonna head. <clears throat> hmm.
These and these cool little rocks. After this, after I finished recording today, I also did a bunch of the side quests and I got some stuff upgraded. And it's okay that, by the way, it's all okay. Uh, ah! It's okay, I'm bringing a wind shield here. We're not actually going to fight anything. Here we go. As I saw, I can just point to my destination. <clears throat> it's making perfect. See, it's right down here. You might have seen it earlier, but you couldn't do anything with it. Now that we have Scrapper, we can actually do a, a bunch of the Batruk side quests. Note to self. Google how do you pronounce his name. Please call the robot. Telepathic transmission? What? Here's Scrapper! <laughs> Master Short Pants. That's a funny little name. This is a tunic. It's very common fashion in my time. <laughs> Movie references. Alright, let's go. Um, the second we get in the sky, Scrapper is going to be there with the propeller and he'll just follow us wherever we go. And we're going to head to... I'm going to head back to Skyloft, drop it off, and then we can finally go to the light tower and do some stuff. Oh, life. I'm going to go back to school tomorrow. Uh, school bores me quite a bit. My mother always says when I complain about boredom that I need more, just need more challenging classes, but... Hard and boring are not the same thing. Are not the same thing. It's po it's quite possible to be to have a very difficult task and be bored with it at the same time. Even so, I'm still taking several AP classes next year. AP English, History. I'm still on. I'm just in plain old math though. Just kind of weird. This is all a dream. You are dreaming. <laughs> bada bing, bada boom. Hey. <laughs> That's Kukiel's dad, actually. And I still don't know his name. Alright. Now we can finally use this propeller. Yeah. That was an inconvenient. The main point of that was to introduce Scrapper. We'll use him later on in, this, in the game for both book side quests and story plot usage. Again, that's what I like about this game. Like, personality... A lot of the characters actually have personality. That, it was the main flaw of Ocarina of Time in my opinion. I didn't, did not see any emotion in Link. At all. It was kind of pathetic. It's certainly an immersion ruining moment when you see Zelda being captured and Link's just hammering on, I don't know, her, the glass between him and her with a blank face. That's kind of, what the hell, moment. <laughs> no, my immersion! I'm gonna post a link to that blog in the description, maybe. Look that up, by the way. No, my immersion. 
It's a Tumblr blog by Nick, Lo- Nick Wallone, a member of the Monster Hunter podcast. It's a decent blog. I think I like it. And that name is pretty awesome. Alright, so little stages up, open up there, open up up there, and we're gonna go and play the Ballad of the Goddess. And then something cool will happen. Get the harp out. Strum it. Just play a few notes for a second. Stand in that spot. Bam. That bird symbol. After clearing that game, this game, I finally understand the significance of that symbol. It makes so much more sense. Alright, just play with the circle, and... This is the part where it's cool that Fi is auto-tuned. She's gonna sing for us. Auto-tune. It really is a pity. I have my audio muted so you don't hear it in the back. Don't hear it repeated. I couldn't hear that awesome song. That really is the one great thing about the harp is the music is so good. Well, I think it's pretty decent anyway. Pretty decent anyway. Legend of Zelda generally does a pretty good job on their music. Alright, so we've got a ticket. You now have an entrance into that thunderhead. Or thundercloud, whatever it is. Either way, we're gonna head in there. This cloud is actually pretty high up. It's kind of interesting. Oh, tornado! If those grab you, you're gonna be sent flying. Uh oh. Sorry, my phone. There's a phone ringing in the back, but I can't go to it right now. Thankfully, I've only got a couple more minutes of talking to do, and then I'll just. Then I can go and check. Alright, this is the Thunderhead, and. It's dark in here. Ooh, got us cube. I'm gonna put a little beacon on that. Alright, so we're gonna head to that little tower over there and watch out. Ow. There's these annoying little bugs that flying around. You need to kill them by charging at their little bright orange spots, but it's kind of tricky. Really, you can just leave them alone. Alright, here we go. Okay, to get there though, we need to... You'll see in a second. Alright, see this? This is a little puzzle. We've got to manipulate these three little pedestal statue things. So they're all lined, perfectly lined up by manipulating the switches too. So eventually we can make a bridge out of it. Like this. Unfortunately, this took me forever, so... Basically what you want to do is manipulate everything so you get those three pedestals lined up. So the bridges will move. You can make a bridge to the Isle of Songs. And this took me a while, so you did enjoy this little montage of it. Join me next Wednesday as we learn something and get ready to go search for the Sacred Flames. That's the 6 Minute Delta, signing off.
What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. 